Hi, I thought we would talk about Black Widow Volume 1 by Kelly Thompson. Black Widow Volume 1 by Kelly Thompson is the first trade from the Kelly Thompson run on Black Widow. It um, sees uh, Natasha in a new circumstance where you start off with a relatively standard mission at the start, plenty of action, and then she, Natasha has an accident, of course, that fall out of a window, and people think she's dead. Uh, but she wakes up in a new life in a new town. She's got a husband and a baby. What does that mean for her? Well, let's have a look at the book and talk about that a bit more. So the book gives you this view of Natasha as a family person. What would happen if the slate was wiped clean? It's a good idea and it's really well done. You get these great sort of splash page action sequences set next to this family life that she's got. Think the long kiss goodnight, if you've ever seen that film with Gina Davis. Very much like that. But you find that she's doing things that she sort of subconsciously remembers, such as when she's sitting down just to fix something in the garage, she inadvertently makes a bomb <laughs> at the fire alarm just because she can. And you find that she's getting followed and observed by Bucky and Clint and Hawkeye. They don't know whether or not they should step in and help her or not. You also get um, Yanova Blow. I can't say her name. The Black Widow, the other Black Widow, basically looking into her and you know trying to work out how they should progress the matter. It's fun. It's enjoyable. It's an easy read. Uh, it's not got all the banter that you get, say, in the Captain Marvel from Thompson, but what it feels is a lot more grounded and a lot more thoughtful. So, yeah, that was a book. Um, it's one that ultimately, it's good. It's not like the Wade and Samney version, which was a bit more action-packed spy thriller. This is more of a character study. Um, I enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it as much as the Wade and Samney version. You know, that's just my personal preference, but I'd like to see where this goes. Um, there, obviously, at the end of it, there's mention of other things. Um, I'm waiting on the next trade because I'm not going to buy it in... Uh, in single issues. I'm guessing they'll be rushing it out to coincide with the film so it won't have too long to wait. But let me know what you think about it. Please feel free to like, subscribe and have a look at the website and the Instagram and thanks for watching.